When you're using a fork mounted bike rack or a through axle bike rack, you gotta do something with the wheel. Sometimes you just don't wanna put it in the vehicle, whether it's dirty or you just don't have the room. Well, you already have a roof rack, you already have your bike on the roof, might as well put your wheel on the roof. So the Thule tire holder is gonna help you do that. It's gonna help it lock it into place and get it to and fro without having to put it inside your vehicle. As far as what this is gonna work with, one, it'll work with pretty much any roof bar that you have. We have aero bars on here, works with that. It'll work with your square bars. We do have an adapter for it and comes with the kit, round bars, and also some of your factory bars, almost all of them. So you don't really have to worry about it not working with your setup, which is good. So that is checked. Also, if you have any type of wheels that are in between 20 and 29 inches in diameter, which is pretty much from the kiddos bikes all the way up to your larger bikes, those are gonna work and that is always awesome. And we are going to accept a fork dropout spacing of 100 millimeters all the way up to 110 millimeters. If you're using a through axle bike rack like you see here, you are gonna need to grab a through axle skewer adapter. We do have them on our website and that's gonna be just for this wheel because we'll be using the original one from your bike on the through axle bike rack. As far as dimensions go, without the wheel installed, we're gonna have about 19 inches from the top of our bar to the top of our little rods here. And it is gonna be about six and a half inches wide by six inches deep. And it's only gonna sit up about two and a half inches from the top of your bar without this piece mounted on top. So if you just wanna keep this installed, it's really not adding a whole lot of length, height to your roof rack. All in all, it's pretty stable. It's a little wobbly on top, but that's just what you're gonna get when you have such a tall wheel going on here. But we're gonna put it to the ultimate test. We're gonna set up some GoPros and take it on our test course footage outside to run over some bumps and stuff, and that'll just simulate what you usually see on the road. First, we'll start with the slaloms. This is going to show the side-to-side -side action. It's kinda gonna mimic the movements that you'll see whenever you're driving down the road normally. Now we'll have the alternating speed bumps. This is gonna be more so like the uneven roads and some of that uneven terrain you might be traveling on. And now with the fold speed bumps, these are gonna be pretty much like normal speed bumps. You get to see the up and down action of the bike rack and see how it holds up. First things first, we wanna figure out which bars you have. If you do have square bars, we do have an adapter. This will just click in right here, but we don't, so we're not gonna use it so you can toss that to the side. But this design, I really like it just because it has this steel band, but it is coated, so it's not gonna affect our crossbars or scratch them. So what you wanna do is you wanna open it up, wrap it just like that, and then you're gonna take this part and feed it into that little channel. So once you do that, you can hold it into place, and then we can start to tighten down this knob, but to turn it, we're gonna have to slide this out. So slide that out and start turning this guy to tighten it up. So once we get that tightened down or it's not rotating or there's no slop, we can close this for now and you can lock it, but I'm gonna leave it open because we're gonna set up the wheel. If you're using a through axle mount for your bike, you're gonna need to use the axle that goes through your bike. So you're gonna have to get an extra one. We do have this at e-trailer and that's what we're using today. So what we wanna do is take this and go through our wheel, thread the other side in, not all the way. And then we can take this piece, slide it down just like that. And what we want to do is kind of press down on this while, while we tighten it down. Open it up, twisty, twisty. Give it some pressure and lock it into place just so this doesn't really rotate. And then we can take this up onto our roof. Now we'll take our wheel and we will put it down just like this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this knob on the outside just so it's easier for me. You can do it either way. Let's go like that. Make sure the seat's down like that. And then we can twist that knob on the other end until it's nice and tight. 
just like that. And then we take our little cable, which is included. We're gonna go around our wheel, slide this little door out. And there's a little section right here where we can slide it in, push in that little door. And then we can take our keys. We have two of them and we can lock this into place. And basically what this is gonna do is just make sure that this isn't gonna slide out. So the cable's gonna stay in place and then the knob can't turn. So you can't loosen it or tighten it. So it's gonna be nice and safe up on your roof. To sum it all up, this is just another product that's just going to make it a little bit more convenient for you depending on your setup. I really like it, it's nice and stable and it just gives a spot for the wheel so you're not just throwing it in your vehicle. So I would definitely recommend that you take a look at the Thule tire holder. And again, I'm Adam with eTrailer.